so in this video we will learn what are some of the standard or basic features a learning management system must have and what are the desirable features which we may compromise a little bit so let's get into it so first let's have a look on what are some of the essential or must have features in a learning management system and then we will discuss the desirable features the first and the basic function of a learning management system is the ability for user management a learning management system should be able to enroll students in the course to assign roles to students or trainers or teachers so this is the first and the basic function the second function is the major the most important function of a learning management system and which is the content management and delivery and a variety of contents for example videos audios pdf files attachments you should also be able to put some quiz questions in a in a database uh, called sometime called quiz banks similarly you should also be able to add assignments and other learning activities you should be able to create courses and some learning management systems also allow you to not only create courses but also to create learning paths which is very useful in certain situations so this is the most important function of a learning management system at number 3 is the course and resource catalog when you are developing a course it is not essential that all of contents should be yours you can curate contents you can put contents from other useful and high value resources but one thing is very important here that these contents must be of very high quality so you can put some youtube videos you can put some pdf and other files and other resources or links from other websites but there are a few things which you should be looking for when selecting an lms for example if you put a youtube video and you try to embed that video into your course at the end of the video you don't want youtube to show the uh, related videos because those videos you don't want to include in your course so you should have the ability to customize the embedding similarly some people even uh, try to minimize the logo of the youtube so this type of customization ability and ability to make the catalogs of these curated courses must be available in your lms number 4 is reporting and progress tracking report and progress tracking is also very important and there are lot of things you can uh, track because most of the modern lms they are using the uh, data mining uh, functionality and you can track the time spent by students on a certain module whether they have attempted a quiz one time or twice or three times so similarly you can also track whether they have attended a particular part of a course and how much time they have spent on that uh, particular part so all these type of data can be tracked and actually all these lms have so much data that we don't have time to use all of that but uh, some of the important data we must uh, be tracking and we must be looking for the progress of the students throughout the course and uh, some also Uh, develop the learning paths based on certain requirements that a student must have participated some of these activities before they can enroll in a uh, next stage of the course similarly you should also be able to uh, grade immediately as soon as they submit the uh, assignment or a quiz their grade should be uh, available to them so all these type of activities uh, um, progress reporting and all these activities must be available in the lms number 5 is communication there are various forms of communication but we are talking about here is the two way communication between a student and a teacher so teacher should be able to transmit the information to students during the lecture uh, it's not only the audio and videos uh, which the teacher should be able to transmit but also during the lecture the screen recording the screen capture should be able to be transmitted to the students and uh, some lms uh, Uh, in the higher education they also have the ability for students to ask questions during the lecture anonymously because some students are shy of asking questions so this is a very good feature that they can uh, ask the question and uh, teacher can reply to them so uh, some people define e learning as a remote communication so therefore communication is very important and uh, there are some other forms of communications as well for example some charts or some graph software should be integrated into the uh, lms so that uh, 
teacher can show anything uh, in a graphical manner or in a chart. So these are some of the communication uh, capabilities which you should be looking for in the LMS. These must be available in the LMS of your choice. And now we will discuss some of the desirable features a learning management system should have. So the desirable features which you should be looking for depend on your target audience. And these should be the features which your audience must value. So you should take into consideration that you are not paying anything extra for a feature which is not valuable for your target audience. So keep this in mind when selecting any of these features. The first desirable feature which I listed in this video is the ability of the LMS to customize. Branding is also very important. You should be able to customize the interface. Branding creates an impression on your clients or on your employees. So you might want to change the font size or you might want to change the style or the color of the themes. Sometimes you might want to change the user interface depending on the website design of your company. So LMS should be able to provide this support to you. The second desirable feature is the collaboration tools. Collaboration tools are also very important. These tools include groups, uh, capability to make announcements or discussion boards. On discussion boards, participants can post messages and then read at any time. So this is an asynchronous uh, type of communication tool. So these are some of the collaboration tools and other tools might include blogs and other features might, might include the ability to make attachments like file attachment or a video attachment uh, on these discussion boards so that people can collaborate with each other. So this is one of the features you should also look for. Number three, I listed the e-commerce support. So LMS must have e-commerce support. E-commerce support is very important for you because at the end of the day, you want to uh, get rewarded for your efforts. Uh, the efforts you have put to curate those courses and those training products. So uh, the customer should be able to pay by any method uh, they want to pay. If they want to pay through PayPal, they should be able to do that. If they want to pay through a credit card or a debit card or through a bank transfer, so they should be able to do that. And uh, believe me that many uh, LMS, they have a good reputation, but when it comes to the integration for e-commerce support, uh, they don't have this and you have to pay some extra amount to put this functionality. So be aware of this. And there are some other marketing uh, functionality which should be available. For example, you should be able to issue the coupons, the coupon codes or some uh, concessions or some other marketing uh, material. So you should be able to do that. For example, you should be able to run some banners or you make some announcements uh, for the upcoming courses. So all these type of marketing functionality should also be available in the LMS which you are going to select. At number four is third party integration. Third party integrations are very important because we use many applications and we are so get used to those applications that uh, sometimes even we forget that we use those uh, applications so oftenly. For example, we every day we use Google Docs. So Google Docs, some people use Dropbox or some other, uh, for example, EndNote. So these type of applications we use on a daily basis. So LMS should be able to integrate with these applications. At number five is intuitive interface. When we say intuitive interface, it uh, not only means that it's a it should be user friendly, but also we should find the features where those features should be available. Because there are two aspects of this. One is from the teacher perspective and the other is from student's perspective. If students are unable to find a feature at a particular point, so they might find it very hard to use. And if you're a big organization, and you have hundreds of employees, for example, and you are going to select an LMS for your organization. So be mindful. First of all, you sit together and you try to figure out what are the user-friendly requirements or intuitive requirements for your organization. Because if you want to change later on, it would be very uh, costly exercise. At number six, we have certification support. Another very desirable feature for learning management system is the ability to issue certification. Because in some geographical region, the candidates prefer a certificate when they finish a course. So our LMS should be able to provide certifications and also for some corporate organization, they want their candidates to be able to recertify after a certain interval, for example, on yearly basis. So in this case, a certification uh, capability is also a very desirable feature. At number seven, support for blended delivery. 
Support for blended delivery is also very important because uh, some students, they don't like all 100% online courses. Uh, they want to participate at least some of the face-to-face -face activities. Your LMS should be able to uh, include those face-to-face uh, uh, -face workshops or uh, practical exam or uh, computer classes or uh, hands-on practice on computers into your course. LMS should be able to include those offline activities into the course. So this is another very desirable feature. And the last feature which I listed in this uh, video is the gamification. Gamification, if done properly, is very effective for user engagement. Students play games and they learn, especially the K-12 students. And when they progress in game, they get scored, they do competition, and in, the, in this way, they learn. So this is also very useful, and some of the LMS uh, are effectively using this in their uh, system.